Need a USB video capture device that works with Unreal? Well today I'm going to show you four of them. Hi, I'm Greg Corson. A lot of people trying to do virtual production are stopped by the high cost of professional video capture cards. Well, you don't have to pay that cost just to get started. You could use a webcam, but if you have a consumer camera that outputs HDMI video, that'll usually give you better quality. But you still need a capture device, and not all of them work with Unreal. Here's four USB ones that do. From left to right is the DigitNow 4K, ClearClick 4K, CamLink 4K by Elgato, and a super cheap no-name capture device. USB devices like these work good if you're on a laptop, don't have an extra slot in your computer for a capture card, or are just looking for a cheaper solution. So let me show you what the output of these four devices look like. All pictures were taken with the same camera seconds apart. First is the DigitNow 4K, then the ClearClick 4K, the CamLink 4K, and the No Name card, which looks identical but a bit fuzzier because it's 1080p. Both the DigitNow and the ClearClick cards were designed for capturing video from game consoles or other PCs, so they have a pass-through microphone and headphone inputs. The CamLink 4K and the No Name card are both HDMI input only. All four devices will capture audio from the HDMI. I'll put Amazon links to three of these cards in the description of this video. Unfortunately, I can't really put a link to the No Name card because the company that sold it to me doesn't sell it anymore. But that doesn't mean you can't get one. Just search Amazon for 1080p USB capture and then sort with the price low to high. You'll see dozens of devices that look just like the one on the right, and they're probably all identical to it internally. I can't guarantee you that you won't get a dud, but you can always return it to Amazon if it doesn't work for you. Just in general, I've found any capture device that says it works with Teams, Zoom, and other video conferencing software without needing drivers or other software will work with Unreal. If you decide to try an unknown card, Make sure you can return it if it doesn't work, or check in advance with the community to see if it actually has been tried. Since these no-name cards sell for between $7 and $20, even if you can't return it, you're not out much. Well, that's about it for now. In a future tutorial, I'll show you how to hook these devices up to an Unreal Virtual Production setup, but it's pretty easy to do. Till then, see you next time.